and sending it to every YouTuber I know. Starting with this prophet. By the way, I love Mr. Beast. This is not to say anything of ill intent. If the intent behind sending a coffin is malicious or threatening, which it is not, it could potentially be considered harassment or a criminal act. Oh no. Okay, well, we're gonna try that later. Hopefully by the end of this video, this coffin will get to Jimmy and we will get his response, but it's time to tell you about the next item. This is Jordan Matter. He is known for making hilarious videos with his daughter, Salish, who often makes fun of his age. How does that feel, old man? Oh, how does that feel, old man? Emotional damage! Apparently, I have a junior driver's license because I'm so young. Um, it is a felony to have a fake ID. It can result in a year or more of incarceration and sometimes as much as 10 years. All right, goes in my wallet. Thank you very much. So Ben Asler, he's tested thousands of banned Amazon products. So we had to really dig deep to think of something he hasn't tried yet. Now this is the stinkiest thing called sastroming. Banned by most airlines as an explosion risk because it keeps fermenting after being canned. They said it squirts. Oh! So it's like covered in bacteria and that's what gives it the taste of cheese. I will give you guys a hundred dollars if you eat this. Ah! It actually does taste like cheese. Oh, hell no. I don't know if I want to say thank you, but thank you. So Hopescope always does super cool, like, beauty stuff. So why not send her a banned face mask that could potentially light on fire? We have warned her, okay? I have a top secret package here from Brianna, and I'm really nervous. <laughs> All right, here it is. Oh, no, this is terrifying. <laughs> One user said that the mask actually feels like a thousand ants are biting her face. How is this comfortable? The mask was also not FDA cleared or clinically tested. Oh, there it goes. Oh my gosh, what level should I put it on? A hundred. <laughs> oh, oh, it hurts. The little metal pieces. Okay, I'm starting on two. <gasps> ah! What? Okay, turning it up to six. I'm so scared this thing's gonna like blow up. <laughs> oh, ow! Okay, I don't like it. <laughs> and there's more levels above that? Like, 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 Do I have little <laughs> spots? <laughs> Next goes to Unspeakable, where we are about to create illegal merchandise. It feels bad, but I'm doing it anyway. We are going to be making counterfeit merch, that it is a federal crime. We're not gonna sell it. I'm just sending it as a gift to Nathan. Yo, we just got a package. We just got a package. A lot of people make fake YouTube merch. Preston and me and Nathan, there better not be an illegally made chuckles though. You should get one on BreeMerchAndFireMerch.com. But these are real products that are legally being sold and I'm not teaching you to do this. Even though I'm showing you how to do it. Don't do it. It's illegal. Yeah, it's just okay. Oh, it's, what the heck that is That is some terrible fake merch. Oh. This is what happens when people don't shop on our website and they buy on other websites. <laughs> Bro, it's literally half of it's ripped off. Why do you think she would send that to us? Why would she? I don't know. Nathan, you probably should contact your legal team, but don't mention my name. Please. Robert Oberst is a dear friend of mine. He's literally like the strongest man in the world. And we learned something interesting. <laughs> in some states, it's illegal to box a kangaroo. I mean, look at this guy. He couldn't hurt a fly, right? We love animals. We don't want them to be harmed, so we're sending him this. Aw, how did you know I always wanted to fight a kangaroo? Thanks, Brianna. Okay, Bri, you sent me two packages. Rebecca is constantly surviving these crazy scenarios and worlds on her YouTube channel, so I thought, why not give her something perfect to help her out? Why did you send me this magic wand, but all of the instructions are in Chinese? We're gonna test out if the fireproof overalls we sent her way will actually protect her in case something happens. Thanks, Bri. Hayden the professional, light a fire. It's not catching a fire. Oh, that's good. Nice. The body has not been burnt. So Rebecca, don't worry. You're going to be safe. Abracadabra. This is Jamie from Aquarium Info. She's literally the sweetest person. She makes crazy fish tanks. So we thought, why not send her a crazy fish? They come from the Amazon. Nice. It's $80? What? That's actually cheaper than I thought. I'm going to look at the reviews for this one, too, because I'm just like, I'm interested. There's no reviews. We'll see what happens when she opens it. Have fun, Jamie. Brianna just sent me this packet. Okay. And a fish! Oh my god. 
We have to get him in with the rest of the squad. <gasps> He's so tiny. Thank you, Brianna. I'm gonna put him in here with all his friends. So Mark Rober is a scientist. He literally like worked for NASA or something. And so we have sent him the world's most powerful laser. Mark, don't point this at your eyes. There's a lot of lithium battery warnings on the outside. Oh no, this looks very sus. As one who glitter bombs. <laughs> Doesn't smell like fart spray. <laughs> my whole team is standing back. Oh, that's very non-fart spray. Oh my gosh, this is like a mega, mega laser. I had to even be careful. I don't think I've actually ever owned a laser this big. Warning, pointing a laser at an aircraft threatens pilots, and it's a federal crime. Well, let's not do that then. Whoa, wow, that's bright. If you could see it through the safety goggles, that means it's really bright. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Brianna. With still not hearing back from Jimmy, I had Preston try to help me reach him. Jimmy, <laughs> we want to send you a gift. <laughs> no! Jimmy is unavailable. Brianna. The next gift goes to Zach King. He's so good at magic. Illusion. Try escaping this. A straight jacket. What the? They used to be used in mental hospitals or psychiatric wards. While heavily used in the past, they have been phased out due to being deemed as harmful or cruel to patients. The only time you will see them in use today is when watching a performance of an escape artist. Is this like a David Blaine thing? Why do I have to escape this? Why did you send this to me? <laughs> Charles Rowan, famous for his escape tricks. In one of them, he had only 15 seconds to free himself from a straitjacket before being run over. Um, can they escape this? Larry, let's strap you in. That's right, the better magician is here. Uh, Someone else escape this? I think you have to dislocate your shoulders. Imagine you're somebody who's being aggressive and like they're trying to restrain you and it doesn't work. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> You're next. No. Are you out of breath a little bit? I think I'm the better magician. Uh, Just saying. Well, I'm glad we found out I was a creepy fan. Next is for ZHC. Hi, Bree. Now this one is actually a felony. Oh, it's pretty large. I'm not sure what it is. We have art forgery for up to 20 years in prison. Oh my gosh. You know what it is? No, I have no clue. This is a famous painting in the Smithsonian by Alexander Lieberman. Wait, can I buy that from you? No, oh, that's illegal. It's a very cool abstract art piece. I like it a lot. This did sell for millions of dollars. It's, it's kind of sticky over here. Maybe it's like a giant sticker. Is this to keep peeling? Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. I don't know. Literally, Chad CPT could make this. It's just a circle. Zach is going to love it. Yeah, we always appreciate the gifts. We love surprises from you. I just got a gift from Rihanna. Let's see what's inside. Next product goes to Nastia. She is so sweet, so why not send her something sweet in return? I mean, it's a Barbie doll. What could go wrong? This was actually recalled the same year because an eight-year-old set her four-year-old brother on fire. That's lit. This is really fun. Actually, this is my favorite color. Let's just pause right here real fast. With sending packages to YouTubers all around the world, we accidentally sent Nastia the wrong item. Is this a mask for wrinkles? Do I have wrinkles? Am I that old? Sorry. Hopefully you like it. Thank you for this gift. Now I will look younger. Help. So the next gift is going to J. Stu. This was the strangest thing to open a front door and see. Please ring bell live insect. Y'all, how crazy is this? What are you sending us? You can buy a scorpion on Amazon. Why? Yeah, right. There's a live animal wrapped in the newspaper. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Oh, I see him. Is that a scorpion? You can buy what's called a vinegaroon, which is this guy right here. Oh, it moved. It is alive. I told you. Brianna, you have got to Explain yourself. I've actually been stung by a scorpion. Basically, feels like you got cut by a piece of glass and then your arm goes numb. You don't want that. What are we supposed to do with this? Why are they like five star reviews? Perfectly healthy and cuddly? They can grow up to six inches and can discharge a liquid that smells like vinegar. Well, I guess we have a new pet. <gasps> No, no, no. Oh, gee! Don't do that! <laughs> Don't scream when I'm not looking! <laughs> this hill's activating. Cover him up. Thanks, oh. Brianna, for this. <clears throat> no word from Jimmy yet. 
I'm not concerned, you're concerned. We're gonna reach out to Carl because obviously they're very close friends. Email has been sent. I'm very, very hopeful and excited uh, to see if this arrives. Next is Dr. Mike. I'm not gonna say anything. Preston will get mad Can at Can we him. include that long pause before you introduce him though? <laughs> no, okay, before I knew Preston and everything, I was a nurse and so I've observed Dr. Mike's work for quite a long time. It's work, huh? What did you send me? God, I wish I could use my medical knowledge on this, but let's open it. Ah. Okay, so we're sending him this. This medical suture kit is meant for students to practice their stitches. What are you saying about my skills? Right, over 22 million people get stitches a year. If stitches are not properly done or cared for, uh, they can become very infected, and if left untreated, become life-threatening. And snitches get stitches? I see you, Brianna. I know Dr. Mike knows how to do this, because obviously they do this in med school, and he does family medicine. So I actually believe the best thing to practice on is a banana, but we have this. Here's what I was always bad at. It's kind of like sewing, right? So you need to make a knot at the end, keep it together, and then you loop it under like so. Also, nurses don't do this. The doctors do. Like. So, if you want a stitch to be good, go to a plastic surgeon, by the way. They do the best. I hope that Dr. Mike utilizes this because he could probably show you exactly how it's done and do it much quicker than me. I'm gonna practice this up and start suturing. Let's go. Comment down below what you would send your favorite YouTuber. Me. <laughs> so next we are sending things to our good friends, Lachlan and Laserbeam, all the way in Australia. This contains illegal food from Brianna. Will I actually die? Am I meant to eat one? I think it's just illegal in Australia. Oh! Yo, they have weird laws there. Wearing hot pink hot pants after midday on a Sunday. Possessing 50 kilograms of potatoes, flying a kite to annoy someone, driving a goat through a public place. Little Debbie Swiss rolls are banned. This popular dessert in the US contains food dyes, yellow five and red 40. These dyes contain cancer-causing ingredients, which is really scary. These are delicious. I will eat one in front of you right now, just because I want to. Mm, so good. Also, we have next to me nuggets. They have blocked impossible food chicken nuggets because of the calcium pantophenate. I've never tried one of these before though. It actually tastes like McDonald's a little bit. Not as good, but I wonder what it's made out of. Every time Lachlan visits us, he has to have Chick-fil-A and Chipotle because I don't think they're in Australia. So Australia, if you're watching this video, make sure you bring those chains over to the crikeys. Thanks, Bree, for uh, smuggling this in. I don't know how you got it in. Oh, they actually look nice as. I wonder if they're better than Tim Tams. What's the expiry date? If I'm sick, Brianna, I'm suing you, okay? Oh, they look good. That's good. Thanks, Bree. Merry Christmas. Now I feel bad because I didn't send Bree anything. <laughs> <laughs> Up next is Dental Digest, and I'm already anxious. Like, I'm putting on gloves before I even start this one. Bacon toothpaste, which everyone off screen is bullying me because they're making me try this. Put a pig in the comments. What color is it? White. Really? I am really not liking this already. <laughs> Don't buy that. I'm gonna go vomit real quick, I'll be back. Mystery package from Brianna. Let's see what's inside. Oh, bacon flavored toothpaste. Oh, no way. Am I supposed to be using this? Oh, I was expecting it to look pink, but let's smell it. No way. That's disgusting. It smells like burnt pig feet. Brianna, there's no way I'm gonna use this nasty smelling toothpaste. Try it on the next guy. Next is my friend Brittany, and we have sent her Limburger cheese. It is illegal to sell Limburger cheese on Sunday because Limburger cheese smells like stinky feet. It doesn't taste bad. It's really mild. It's kind of like a Gouda. Have fun, Brittany. It really tastes good. Oh, hold on. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that's so gross! <laughs> Ew! It literally smells like throw up. Oh, I was hungry, but I don't think I can eat this. Oh, no, no. Thanks, Bree, but no thanks. 
Up next, this is going to cache. This is super cool. This is going to a Minecrafters, a double click mouse. It is actually a auto clicker. The mouse has a programmed button that initiates a double click, which means it will give gamers an unfair advantage over using a normal mouse. I just figured out there's this button and you double click it here. I had no idea, I'm learning things. I am brawling right now, and, and we're double clicking. We're on the news right now, I changed screen. There we are. Mm -hmm. All right, that didn't help me at all, but I hope it helps Cash. And he can use it to film his Minecraft content and no one would know. So you're welcome. A gaming mouse? Wait, this is actually sick. What? Hold on, we gotta do a click test just to make sure it's actually good at clicking. All right, here we go. Yep, it's definitely good at clicking. It's got the side buttons and everything on it too. W gift, I'm using this every day. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brianna. We still haven't heard from Jimmy yet, but we also don't even know if he's in the country, but we do know that the coffin is in North Carolina. Let's just hope he doesn't deny the delivery. All right, next goes to the Sidemen's Big Star. He lives in the UK and there's apparently a very weird law. Making or using a slide upon ice or snow in any street or other thoroughfare is banned. So we got him a sled. Y'all, look at this. It's pretty flimsy, right? It's not like the best made sled I've ever seen. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna be able to fit. Oh! Ah! Okay, here I have my gift from Brianna. It says on the label, be careful where you sled. And here we go. It is, as I expected, a sled. Now, I don't have one of these, but it never really snows enough in London to actually use one of these. Thank you, Brianna. All right, so the next one goes to Darman, and this one is wild. In LA, it's illegal to fly a kite more than 10 feet off the ground. Again, I've already mentioned everything's illegal in California. Come on, people are just trying to have fun. So the kite that we got is actually really viral on TikTok because People thought it was a scary alien goat fish flying down from space to eat us all. Release the squid. One, two, three. Ah! Oh! Oh no! Oh, no. Ah! The squid's chasing me! Oh! Oh! It's it's going! Bree, don't let it go there! <laughs> Bree, you broke it! It broke. Now I see why it's banned. The aliens are landing and so is the squid. <laughs> Okay, this next one goes to Sunday. The device we're going to give him, I honestly hope he doesn't try at home. When plugged into any electronic device, it will completely destroy it. Okay, so let's plug them all in. <gasps> Did it work? <gasps> Wait, it's not turning on anymore. Oh no. Sunday, you have too many good videos to destroy. Don't do this. Sunday from Brianna, don't plug. Dude, what does don't plug mean? What, are you talking about my hair plugs? What's going on? All right, that don't plug. What do you got? What is it? Uh, USB Killer Pro Kit version 3. Are you trying to kill my computer? USBkill.com. I'll remember this, Brianna. I'll remember this. Next goes to Phase Rug, and these make a lot of sense because he does sour candy and a lot of like food challenges, so I'm hoping he can take the heat. First, we have the Deck Nut. It is hotter than the one chip challenge. A whopping 16 million Scoville heat unit. For reference, a jalapeno, jalapeno. <laughs> My dad calls jalapeno. it that. Lands somewhere between 2,500 to eight Scoville. Oh man. We also have the most sour candy. JMT says on Amazon, it makes your tongue bleed. I'm gonna start with the sour candy. Oh. Wow, I absolutely love sour. This is the sourest thing I've ever eaten. If you don't like sour, please try this so I can see your facial reaction. Oh, We're God. <laughs> it's just not fun. <laughs> Since you enjoyed that so yeah. much, I thought, why not do the Death Nut Challenge together? Okay. I'm gonna start with one. Okay. That one says it is getting started. It is Carolina Rip Reaper. Carolina <laughs> Reaper is the first one? Oh no! Wow. This isn't that bad. I am so impressed. Ooh. So Brianna sent me a second package, which I kind of already opened and ate, and it was some of the world's sourest candy. But to match the vibe, I'm just gonna do the one-up sour challenge, which I think I've only completed once or twice in my life. 
This is hard. Here we go. You know the drill. We got the candy. We got the neutralizer. Let's do it. Neutralizer goes into the water. This should help eliminate the taste of the sour. I haven't done the one-up sour challenge in like a few months because I just can't complete it. So we gotta pop three gummies, suck on them, and try to not make a face. Oh my God, why, why, why? It's my own challenge and I can't complete it. Thank you, Brianna. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, Mr. Beast. Wasn't at his warehouse because he was filming somewhere in Finland. To Mr. Beast from Brianna. Is it an animal? didn't growl. Oh, I know what this is. It's a coffin. This is off Amazon? Open it slowly. Hey, something pops out, bro. No, don't back away now. Oh, it looks comfy. Do you want to it hop in? Uh, yeah, it looks like more your size. You, you already got a suit on. Ah. Kind of makes sense. Oh, I do. This is actually really nice. So if you were dead, like, would this be nice? Yo, I want to say it. Not a lot of back support. Well, you're dead. So <laughs> Thanks. 